Welcome to the special edition of Steep Chart. We are outside the Houses of Parliament. We'll be speaking to Professor Jeremy Watson from Patris, an Internet of Things research hub. Petra stands for Privacy, Ethics, Trust, Reliability, Acceptability and Security. And we're a cross-disciplinary exercise across 12 universities now, working to establish the security of Internet of Things devices to maximise the economic and social benefits. So we have approximately equal teams now of technical and social science researchers working across a number of universities and sharing a common agenda to better understand the intersection between technical and social issues to make the IoT a safer place in a variety of sectors. So including domestic, of course, but also critical national infrastructure, medicine, healthcare, retail, uh, and so on. Yeah, it's, it's important now, because we're seeing an evolution of the technology beyond simple IoT devices, which have com communications and computing, into ones that can start to reason about what they're doing with artificial intelligence and machine learning. And that brings both advantages and potential risks, because artificial intelligence uh, can, make, can protect people, the user, but it can also bring extra hazards around subversion and hacking. Over the last three years of running with Petras, with our university, and I should also say user partners, so we have 120 companies and government departments working with us across those, uh, those, those university activities. Uh, we've undertaken 51 projects, and we've uh, executed six demonstrators of knowledge in use, ranging from smart homes through public buildings, through the movement of high-value goods like, like artworks, um, through transport and mobility and in sharing data with the, with the universities. And each of those has contributed through a real demonstrator of uh, practical applications, how the IoT can be safely used. So the IoT at the moment is not strictly regulated. There are some standards, but it, they're not strictly adhered to right the way across the marketplace. And we've helped to form standards and policy with government department, DCMS. We contributed to their Secure by Design paper. Uh, and so I think the impact of Petras is beginning to show. I think the major challenges when we set about Petras was getting uh, working and collaboratively across social and technical and engineering disciplines, but we've achieved that very well and our teams have really benefited, I think, from the dialogue that's gone across. Um, probably the, the bigger challenge is making sure that we actually create an impact in society, that the research findings are applied in government and in industry, and that is done principally through partnerships, and we've been growing those throughout the programme. Uh, Looking forward, I think it's probably tracking a very fast-moving set of technologies. It's really quite hard to keep up with the pace in other countries, for example, but we've managed to do that. And reacting um, in terms of policy advice is a particular challenge uh, to get governments to respond quickly, so we need to think about dynamic policies. So this evening's event is a, is a celebration of the first phase of Petras. We thought this was going to be the end of this Petras program after three years. So it's a 9.8 million pound program funded by government to which we've added another 14 million from the user partners. And this is to celebrate really the achievements we've uh, been able to make and we've got some demonstrations and talks about that to senior parliamentarians and our partners. We've got about 200 people coming tonight. But actually it also turns out to be a great celebration of new funding that we've received very recently for Petras 2, which builds in that artificial intelligence and machine learning work that I mentioned earlier on. And so we'll be hoping to set agendas and start new conversations with our partners this evening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned until next time. Stay curious.